3 goes into 6 twice exactly. So two threes. If I do 3 and add another 3, I get 6. So 3 doubled gives me 6. That's great. It means I can use the 3 times table method we saw in the previous video to work out a quick way of getting the 6 times table. The 3 times table was write the numbers 1 through to 9 in columns in sets of 3 going up the page. In the first row I write a 0 next to each of those numbers. In the second row I write a 1 next to each of those numbers. And in the third row we wrote a 2 next to each of those numbers. So because 6 is 2 lots of 3, I'm just going to double each of these. 3 doubled is 6. If you double 6 you get 12. If you double 9 you get 18. Double 12 is 24. If you can't remember how to double numbers, there's a video on it at the end of this one, in this end of the playlist. And once we've doubled all of the 3 times tables, we have the 6 times table. 1 times 6 is 6. 2 times 6 is 12. 3 times 6 is 18. All the way down to 9 times 6. The last one we need is 10 lots of 6. And just as with the previous version we saw that when you times by 10 you just take this number move it one place left and fill in the get with the zero which is the same as double three times 10. Pause the video and you have a try then replay and see if you've understood. Over to you.